Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to cover a couple of different things, including a couple of free games that are available right now. A free Steam game and Sang Freud Tales of Werewolves, which this was pointed out on Reddit and this game actually looks kind of cool. So I want to give that a mention as it's a game that I personally have just added to my library and a couple of other free titles available on Indie Gala. And then also Humble Monthly has gotten an update, the Battletech bundle, and that is getting another game added to it. So that's pretty cool. And I do want to highlight the Tomb Raider franchise sale that's going on on Steam right now. Some really good deals are available as a part of that, and I'll highlight that at the end of this video. So really just talking a variety of free games and some great deals. First up, again, over on Steam, Sang Freud Tales of Werewolves is free right now. I don't know how long it's going to be free for, if it's going free forever or whatever the case may be. But this was pointed out on Reddit. The game has a 79 on Metacritic, which is pretty decent. Came out all the way back in 2013, so a little bit older. However, it's also received very well from the Steam community, 87% positive based on 1717 reviews, and it notes combining action and strategy in a unique way, Sang Freud Tales of Werewolves transports you into an epic folklore co-written with best-selling Canadian author Brian Perrow, in which two feuding brothers will have to put aside their differences to save their sister who is pursued by the devil himself. This time, however, sheer brute strength won't be enough to save the day as your enemies are way stronger than you are. Only your wits and the ability to combine ingenious traps to set up deadly ambushes will give you a chance to see the sun rise again on your frozen piece of forest. It notes, plan your strategy, take advantage of the calm during the day to fill your forest with all kinds of traps that are as inventive as they are deadly. Hunt your enemies when night falls, use the wind and lure the diabolic beast into your traps using bait, but watch out, you have to be on constant guard to make sure you don't become the prey of the beasts you are tracking. Fight heroically if some of the beasts get past your traps, that's when it gets bloody. First, you can shoot them with your trusty musket and then eliminate the ones that survive by slaughtering them with your axe action and carnage guaranteed. So again, that's available for free right now. I don't know how long it's been available free, but was brought to my attention. And I did want to give a mention on that. Looks like it's a mix of a couple of different genres, some strategy elements, tower defense elements, interesting visual style as well. So that's available free. All right. Also a couple of games available for free over on Indie Gala. So these are of course DRM free games. You just directly download them to your PC. More niche titles. So let's just talk them quickly. The Deed is available free, which is typically 99 cents on Steam, but received very well at 1,390 user reviews, 91% positive, so that is available for free. It looks like a darker game, and it is an RPG Maker title, so I'll leave a link to that in the description box. And then you also have Survivor Squad, a strategy action game where you control a squad of up to four survivors. This goes for three bucks on Steam, so again, that's available for free, so I'll leave a link to that. Don't want to use too much time on that, so moving right along, I do want to mention Humble Monthly has got in an update with Battletech being available as the early unlock title. They've also added two Battletech DLCs with Flashpoint and Shadowhawk pack, so that is making that even better. Battletech, generally a pretty expensive game as well. I believe it goes for $40 and then on sale. It might be a little bit cheaper, but it's never been down to 12 bucks. But also, if you buy Humble Monthly right now, on top of Battletech and those two DLCs, you'll get Sonic Mania, and Sonic Mania is a pretty awesome game. Old school Sonic title, it's Sonic at its purest form, and I think there's a lot of enjoyability to be had with that. If you're a fan of old school Sonic games that were on the Sega Genesis, this is going to feel right at home to you. It's a fun platformer and there's a lot of nostalgia to be had there as well. If you played Sonic back in the day, Sonic Mania definitely harkens back to that. And that game as well, I believe when it goes on sale, I think it was recently on sale and it was down to like 15 bucks, but I may have seen it as low as $9.99, but as a part of Humble Monthly along with Battletech, that is definitely sweetening the pot and making that a really good value. I'll leave a link in the description box below for this. Obviously, I do get a little bit of a kickback, but great. Great value is great value, and of course, these are Steam redeemable keys, and I often get this question, which I am shocked by, but yes, you get to keep these games. These aren't games you just get to play for the month. You get keys for these games, then you redeem them on Steam, and then they're yours to keep forever. It's a really good value if you're open to the idea of trying out a wide variety of games, and last month in particular, we had a great set of other unlocks as well, with games like Guacamelee 2, Mother Gunship, and State of Mind being added. I don't know if this month is going to be as good, but usually, it is relatively decent. The month prior to that, we had games like Rising Storm 2 Vietnam, Surviving Mars... 
and stuff like that. So usually there are a couple of games and considering the early unlock usually justifies the $12 purchase alone. And in this case, I would definitely say it does. Those games can just be seen as gravy on top of everything. And sometimes they turn out to be much more than just mere gravy. So moving on from that, I do also want to quickly mention the Tomb Raider franchise sale over on Steam. Some really good deals are available as a part of this, probably highlighted by Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is 85% off for $8.99. I honestly think that Rise of the Tomb Raider is the strongest game in the entirety of the Tomb Raider franchise. I'm not talking about just Tomb Raider since 2013 and the reboot. All of Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider was just an exceptional game and really shined in every area. The visuals were stunning, the gameplay was great and varied, and it had a really good story, which I think is what sets it apart from Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a little bit nonsensical. However, the gameplay is really strong in SOTR, but Rise of the Tomb Raider, I just think, is a more well-rounded game. And 85% off for that $8.99, I would say, is a really good buy. Outside of that, a lot of the older Tomb Raider titles are on sale really, really cheap. Tomb Raider Underworld is $0.98. Cents. Anniversary is $0.98. Cents. Legend is $0.97. Cents. Tomb Raider 2013 is 3 bucks, and then SOTR is on sale if you want to check that out, $19.79 for that, which I think is pretty good. However, I could very well see them releasing some sort of complete edition for that down the line, so just be mindful of that. You can get the Croft edition with the additional content for $33.50, and then there is a deluxe edition available for $23.03, but you really want the Croft edition with all that extra content. It's just $33 is a little bit pricey on that. But nonetheless, definitely would recommend Rise of the Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider 2013 is pretty good as well. And Tomb Raider, in general, just a very compelling franchise with a lot of great titles. Even if you want to go back and check out the older titles, Tomb Raider Underworld isn't terrible for 98 cents. And then the top-down title in uh, Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light is down to 150. Uh, Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris is down to 299. So pretty good deals all around there. So that's going to conclude this video, guys. Wanted to keep this a little bit quick so I don't use up too much of your time. Sangfroin Tales of the Werewolves free on Steam right now. Looks like a pretty interesting game. And I don't know how long it's been available for free, but hey, you might as well check it out. Indigala has a couple of free games with The Deed as well as Survivor Squad. Humble Monthly is getting even better with Battletech's two DLCs in Flashpoint and Shadowhawk Pack being added as well as Sonic Mania. Great value there and the MSRP for all of that is $63.97. MSRP obviously should be taken with a little bit of a grain of salt because you're not buying these games at full market price. You usually wait on a sale but nonetheless the value is definitely there and the value is definitely there with the Tomb Raider franchise sale on Steam right now. Would highly recommend ROTR Rise of the Tomb Raider for nine bucks everything else is pretty good as well. That's going to conclude this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.